Hello and welcome to the weekly update here at Doctor on a Mission. I hope you are well and safe and hopeful. Hopeful why? Because we know from research, we know from history that all pandemics end and this one will too. In this session, I'd love to talk to you about what we are focusing on. We know that humans are the happiest when they are focusing on progress. I'll give you an example. Wherever you have progress, you have an emotion. Wherever you don't have progress, you have an emotion. So progress or no progress, emotions are attached to it. Here's an example. Imagine getting on the scale during this pandemic <laughs> and realizing you're not losing weight. Well, what happens? you have an emotion that's attached to it. And that emotion is sadness, depression, anxiety, right? Because you don't feel like you're moving in the positive direction. However, if you get on the scale and you go, wow, I'm losing weight, I'm feeling strong, what happens? You actually have a positive emotion and you feel like you're succeeding. And that's when we are all the happiest, when we are making progress. Now, the key is, is to focus on the right thing so that we make progress. And I'm telling you right now, here in New Zealand, focusing on the news is not going to help you make you feel that you're having progress. When we focus on the outside world and we look at the news, hey, me included, you get become fearful, dreadful, hopeless, um anxious. I know I was twice a day going to the news on the TV and looking at the news at 12 and at 6 just to see what was going on. And I'm telling you, I was feeling anxious and I had to stop that because I found myself eating more for comfort. I don't know about you, but that's what I was doing. However, I decided I was going to change things and I was going to start focusing on progress. And so what I did is I decided to make goals of progress and focus only on what I want to, to happen in my life. And guess what happened? I stopped eating so much and I started having hope and I felt full of enthusiasm and joy, which is like my natural state. That's like my happy place. I am a very happy person, but the only way I'm there is if I'm focusing on the right things, not the bad things. Now, people have asked me all my life, how do I get rid of fear? Well, very honestly, I do things a lot of the times in my life with fear. I, I, it's just my natural state um, that I've had to learn how to spank out of my mind. And by that, I mean, becoming a doctor, I was so afraid that I wasn't good enough, I wasn't smart enough, and I didn't have the go power to do it. And guess what? I became a doctor. How? By doing it afraid. Becoming a mom, oh my gosh, I was so afraid of becoming a mom because I didn't know how to become a mom, but guess what? I did it afraid and my girls are beautiful, beautiful people in this world doing wonderful things and making this world a better place because of who they are. And moving to New Zealand. Moving to New Zealand in, when I was 40 with two daughters and my husband, that was scary, but I did it afraid anyway. So I am doing starting Doctor on a Mission in 2013. I didn't know how to start a business. I, I was just a doctor, you know, I didn't know how to start social media and I didn't know how to video. So how did I, how did I do it? Well, I got good coaching, but I still did it afraid. I did not let, the bottom line is, I did not let fear stop me. I never let fear stop me. And I don't want fear to ever stop you. If you have fear, just focus on what you want to do. Focus on your goal. Focus, no, I am going there. I am not going to lay down and just be shaky and fearful and, and, and stuck, okay? Because that's not what you're intended to be. You, God has got you to do something here on earth. It's going to be wonderful. Steve Harvey, a comedian, says, if you wake up 
in the morning. That's because God's got work for you to do. And I so believe that. So always focus on your goal and focus on your why. And guess what? The fear goes to the side. Because why? Because you're not focused on the fear. You're focused on the goal, okay? And fear is healthy. You know, if you've got a bear chasing you. But like, who's got a bear chasing them, right? Of course. So fear really happens because we're doing something different. And this pandemic was really something different. Um, I know the first couple of weeks of this pandemic, I was like, <gasps> I was just scared. I, it was just crazy. Like, what is going on? I remember um, Michael was talking to me and he said, did you know that there have been over a hundred doctors that have died with this pandemic? Well, I immediately went into the train track of I'm afraid and because I'm a doctor, but I should have, I had to get myself out of that track, out of that habit, you know? So just know that if you've got a deep track of fear in your life because of the things you've gone through, know that you've got to jump out and create a new track. And that new track is where you're going, your goals. And that train track, just so you know, that train track of fear is still there. <laughs> And it is normal, it is natural to fall back into it um, when situations such as the pandemic occur. However, you're in control. You are in control of getting out of that because you've got control of two things in your life what you focus on and your activity. So you don't focus on that train track, that deep groove of fear, and you've got the activity of stepping out and going, nope, I'm gonna create a new train track, a new habit, a new way of thinking, okay? And that's what I kinda wanted for you to realize today is what are you focusing on? And if fear shows up, you know, keep in mind a lot of fear is fake fear. Okay, a lot of fear is fake fear. So just go, I'm not going to die just because I'm a doctor, you know, come on, come on. I'm going to be, you know, I've got uh, the wisdom of what my colleagues ahead of me have gone through so that I learn from what they've gone through. Okay, all right. And then another question that my mentor have asked me has, um, is about where is your emotional home? And I asked the same question to you. Where is your emotional home? Is your emotional home, you know, where your heart sits, where your mind and your heart sit? Because your mind and your heart work hand in hand. Is your emotional home a home of I can't, I won't, and I, I'll just stay here? Or is your emotional home, I can, I will, I must achieve that goal, achieve that progress, get to there? The decision is yours, where your emotional home is, okay? And uh, let me see, how the hardest thing I've had to learn is to learn to make my mind behave. And the hardest time is at 2.07 to be exact in the morning on, oh my gosh, I just got up to go to the loo and I came back and I'm in bed and my eyes are wide open and I am in that train track of fear and it is two o'clock, 2.07 in the morning. Well, I don't know about you, but I am not my wisest at 2.07. So I have to implement what I am focusing on. And so what I have to do is I have to get out of that track and I have to put my thinking on what I want. And I don't know about you, but I've got a list this long of what I want to achieve before I die. And so I just focus on that and I actually write that out every single day so that at 2.07 in the morning, I can wake up and go straight to there and get out of that train track of fear, okay? Oh, uh, let me see. And what Here's another thing that my my mentor asked me is, what do you focus on the most? And I ask you the same. Is it the past? Is it the present? Or is it the future? Well, if you are focusing on the past, then guess what? You're going to be stuck and you won't be happy. 
because you're not making progress. However, if you are focusing on the present and enjoying the beauties of today and being grateful, your heart gets happy, your immune system is happy, your brain is happy, and you're like, okay, I can do this because I'm living a good life. Like today I was walking and I it's autumn here in New Zealand and it's a little chilly, but the sun was coming out and the sun was out. <laughs> And I was able to take a walk in my shorts. That makes me happy because my brain is thinking it's summertime and I love the summer. And then um, the next thing is your future. Are you focusing on your future? Are you focusing on progress? Because we know that successful people are successful because they do two things. They focus on their present and they focus on their future. So I encourage you to focus on your present and your future. Where are you going? Where's your progress? Where's that place you're going to? But don't be looking at the progress. Don't look at the future all the time. Don't be like me. I am. I have to like bring myself back because I'm always like 10 years ahead of my poor husband going, we're going to do this. We're going to do that. And Dr. Animation is going to complete this. And he's like, babe, he's wheeling me back going, yo, honey, come back, come back. And I do have to come back and focus on enjoying the now too. So focus on the present and the future, okay? And make it balanced. So you're not unbalanced. So here's the take home. We're gonna land this plane now. We know from research that people are happy when they're making progress. So I encourage you to focus on making progress. You'll be a happier person. How do you do that? Read positive books, listen to positive podcasts, Watch autobiographies that are inspiring to you. Michael and I just finished watching a wonderful autobiography or a, yeah, it was a documentary about Mahatma Gandhi and what he had done in his life. Very inspiring. And then also limit your news to less than five minutes twice a day at the most. It's not good for you. News is not good. And if it's if it's news that you've got to know about, know that somebody will tell you right away before you even go on TV, okay, and watch it or go on the internet. And um, I just, before we go, I just encourage you to arise that champion within you and don't let fear stop you. Do things afraid, okay? Just do things afraid and focus on your progress. Where are you going? Please share this with your family and friends and all those that you think will be benefit from this. And I just want to let you know that we are on the six day countdown to the launch, the new launch at Doctor on a Mission. We've got a brand new look and I know that you will find something very, very helpful to you. We've created the new Doctor on a Mission to serve and add value to you and um I know you're going to love it, okay? So stay tuned. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.